Hey, this is Lucy from webtrainingwheels.com. So WordPress 3.5 is out now, and as with any major update to WordPress, some people are having problems with the upgrade, in particular with plugins that are incompatible. So in cases like this, having a sandbox site, basically just a duplicate site that you can play around with, is really helpful so that you can deal with any problems that there might be before you actually go messing around with your live site. Unfortunately, it's quite easy to set up a sandbox running locally on your computer, and you can do this for free using two tools. One is the Duplicator plugin, and the other is something called Desktop Server. So I'll show you the process really quick, and then you'll have no excuse to be hosing your live site when you're doing any kind of an upgrade. So here's a live site that I have running. It's just a testing site that I have running. So you can see it's actually running WordPress 3.3, which is a slightly older version of WordPress. Whenever you're updating WordPress, you should be cautious. But the bigger the difference in versions between your current site and what you're upgrading to, the more cautious you have to be because there's going to be more changes involved. So the first thing I'm going to do is install the Duplicator plugin. I'm going to activate that and just click manage and that'll take you into the settings for duplicator. And we're going to click this button on the right, which is going to create a new package. And this is actually a really good way just to create a fast one time backup of your site because the package includes both your database and also your website files. It's going to grab everything in one package. So now that's complete, I need to download both these files over here, the installer and the package file. So I'm going to save these to a folder on my desktop just so that I can locate them easily. So I'm going to download both of those files. Once I've grabbed those, I'm then going to go over to Desktop Server. And Desktop Server is a really awesome product. Uh, they have a free version and they have a premium version. And the premium version, which I do use, has some features that will actually automate most of this process for you. But I'm going to demonstrate it using features that are available in the free version so that no one has an excuse not to do it, basically. So I'm going to start up Desktop Server. And I'm going to select the option to create a new development site. I'm going to give the site a name, and this will create the local URL that I'm going to use to access the site on my computer. I have these various versions of WordPress available part of the blueprints feature. It really doesn't matter which one I select at this point because it's going to end up getting overwritten when I bring in the duplicator file. But I just need desktop server to do its magic behind the scenes so that it makes it easy for us to create this new sandbox site. So once that's done, at this point for this particular process, I'm not going to follow that instruction. I'm just going to close out Desktop Server. I'm going to navigate to the Websites folder where I'll see a new folder for my sandbox site I just created. And I'm actually going to take the wp-config file from there and move it over to the same folder where I've got my duplicated files because we need to keep that wp-config file, but we're going to delete the rest of these other files. Once those are deleted, I'm going to take the two files I got from Duplicator, so the installer file and the zip file. I'm going to put those in that website folder. And in my browser, I'm then going to navigate to the installer file, which I will find at the local URL for my website, which is, in this case, wordpresstesting.dev slash installer 
.php. This is going to bring up a screen from the Duplicator plugin which will take me through the process. So at this point I need to open up the config file because it contains the database information that Desktop Server created for us and we need this information so that the plugin can do its magic. So I'm just going to copy and paste over the database name and the user and password. And once I've done that, I'm going to test the connection and just make sure that Duplicator has the correct info. So once I've got the green light, I can continue with the next step down here. So this screen is just confirming the old settings and the new URL settings because what it's going to do is it's going to update all of the URLs so that everything points to this local WordPress testing .dev URL so the site will run completely smoothly on my computer. Once that's done, we can then navigate to the test URL and here is our sandbox site running on our computer. So now, now that we've got this up and running, we can log in. Your username and password is going to be exactly the same as it is on your live site. And now we can go ahead and do the upgrade process and see what happens. Okay, so we've upgraded to WordPress 3.5. So now let's take a look at the site, see if it's still there. And everything seems to be looking good on the front end here. Nothing weird going on. So that's good. But one thing that I notice now in the dashboard is as I mouse over the menu items on the left, there should be submenus flying out from those, and they're not. And the quick edit button is not working. And if we go into the post editing screen, we can see we no longer have an editor. There's no icons or anything. So something is going wrong on the back end here. And I happen to know that this plugin, Bulletproof Security, um, the version that I was using was not compatible with 3.5. So I'm going to update that plugin, and it should take care of those problems. Now, if you do encounter problems like this, generally speaking, it's going to be due to a plugin. So you want to make sure all your plugins are updated. And if there are any that are causing problems, then you may just have to find an alternative that is compatible with 3.5. But at least you won't have to deal with this issue on your live site and you can get this straightened out before you upgrade on your live site. So now that I've updated that plugin, everything seems to be back to normal. Our visual editor is back, and everything seems to be working fine again. So now I know what I need to do on my live site in order to have a smooth upgrade. So that's it for right now. I'll catch you next time, and keep checking out webtrainingwheels.com for more WordPress goodness.